have one of the biggest names in entertainment. We're talking about Eva Mendez. From her movie career to modeling to her ever-expanding fashion brand, and more recently becoming a new mom, it seems like she truly does have everything, including Ryan Gosling. You know, nobody knew her. Nobody had any idea who she was. Yet she elevated herself every year, each step of her life. And if you want to become great, if you want to succeed, then you need to take the next step up. And Hoover Tornadoes can always do that. When I was at Hoover, I wasn't in theater. I wasn't in it. I wasn't kind of in anything like that. I think I was director of assemblies. She loved Hoover. Uh, she wanted to be involved in every aspect of Hoover. And uh, I was, at that time, I was the um, ASB director. And uh, this little girl walks up to me and she says, I want to be involved. I want to be a part of this. And I said, well, run for an office. And so she ran for the lowest office there was. <laughs> and she won. We used to have a lot of assemblies, and I was like the director of them and stuff like that. So I kind of liked doing that. I felt like I kind of liked being in front of people, but I wasn't sure where that would go. Um, so it really wasn't until I was about 24 where I was like, what am I doing with my life? I'd gone to two um, community colleges. I'd gone to Northridge University. And I realized that I just didn't have a clear path. And then I just really opened up myself to the world. And I was like, okay, I'm just like, I'm open to exploring, you know, what may be. And I took an acting class and I really found that, um, that there was something in there for me. She is exactly what... Uh... I always thought uh, the Hoover Tornadoes should be. She was one that started from the ground and just rose. Holmeyer was like a, he was like a guidance counselor for me and for many, many students. And to have those teachers, like teachers are so invaluable. To me, from like, from my kindergarten teacher, Miss Bonafont, that I remember vividly, to coach Kohlmeyer, um, who really guided me from 10th, 11th, 12th grade. We'd go to him with problems. Even though he technically wasn't a counselor, we'd go to him with our problems. He never judged us. And he was definitely, you know, acted as, in a way, as a therapist, now that I look back on it, you know, but a counselor, a, somebody that's going to kind of help you, you know, that you can trust. She just had that drive to be somebody much better better than everyone else when i kind of became famous in a way i think i guess it was about 15 years ago or so where i thought um, it was very hard for me to handle that um so i definitely had to turn to my support system my family and my friends and i i found a therapist that i really loved and I still talk to it to this day. Let me give you a ride. I did a film, Ryan and I had known each other for years before we did the film A Place Beyond the Pines. Um, but when I was doing that film, it was the first time I really felt like there wasn't a wall up. And then when he directed me in his film Lost River that experience was like nothing else as far as like I felt like I've always wanted to do theater and I've never done theater um it felt like what I think a theater experience would be like it was like it was just a family coming together and so I have a line with New York and Company and it's my Ava Mendes collection and it was something that just kind of happened naturally and it happened after I mentioned Lost River it happened kind of after Lost River because um in Lost River, I was able to do a lot of production design. The production designer, Beth, she was amazing, and she, like, allowed me to help her. And I was, like, I love set dressing. I love designing. 
and then this opportunity came up that you know new york and company came to me about designing clothes and i thought well never really thought about that but i do love designing and everything is kind of like um everything i do in a way is 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 design like my house i love interior design and you know when i dress myself it's like you're designing yourself so i thought wait this actually makes a lot of sense and so again because i was on working on lost river and i was so kind of creatively stimulated it opened my mind up to that so even though you're working on something at one point and you think you're just doing it for that later on you're able to see and look back and see how the dots connected and you're like, oh, so that led to this. And even though I thought I was just doing that, I was able to get that from this. And it opened up this whole other, you know, door for me. And so it's fun to like look back now that I'm older and see how everything has lined up. And I, and I hope I have the opportunity to live a long life and look back and see like, oh, okay. And connect more of the dots, you know. I really started in high school at Hoover with me is to find yourself a group of friends that love you and support you. And you do the same for them, of course, but friends are everything. Who you surround yourself with is everything. I still talk to my, like I said, I still talk to my girlfriends from, from Hoover all the time. This morning I texted them, but I've made a lot of girlfriends throughout the years as well. And it's about people that love you and, and having an amazing support system. And that's the most important thing whether it's a boyfriend, whatever it is, it's surrounding yourself with people that want the best for you. And you obviously want the best for them. To, to Hoover students and to students everywhere, really, you, you have my, my support and my love. It is such a difficult time to be, to be young and to be remote learning and everything. So I send you all my love, all my support.